Welcome back to the show, guys. I am your host, Valentine, expecting you guys are having a wonderful and blessed day. On today's show, we're going to be, or, or now, when I say we're going to be, like there's other people on this channel. No, it's just me, man. I'm going to be giving you my opinion on the whole Cardi B debacle, right? The whole Cardi B situation that's going on. Um, and Cardi B and obviously Candace Owens when they are uh, having this Twitter war, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to give you my highlights of what I think are the funniest, I guess, most important points. Um, to be honest, Cardi B cannot enter the same room as Candace Owens politically at all. We're talking about... And she has proven to be somewhat illiterate um, when she speaks and she says, um, I'm going to put you guys the video where she uh, says uh, politics and that um, Candace Owens has offered her $250,000 to debate her or go on her show, whatever it is. And Cardi B has rejected. Why? In my opinion, I think she's scared and she knows she Cardi B's not that dumb and she's going to go somewhere where they are going to literally massacre her to be honest the day that if that ever happens cardi b and candace owens in the same room i think they're gonna have to put cardi b behind a some type of protection or something like that because cardi b is not gonna be able to control to control herself in the slaughtering that uh candace owens is gonna give her and she might literally attack candace owens that's the only thing that i really fear but let me let me give you let me play this video for you. That way you see that Candace Owens offers Cardi B $250,000. You've been antagonizing me for years. And you claim that you antagonize me because I stick my nose in politics. Because a, a woman like me that pay taxes, that live in a country that continuously see injustice, have a voice. That bothers you so much. Everybody can have a voice. At the end of the day, Candace... You've been trying to fucking sit down with me for like a year. You even offered me $250,000. Anybody that justifies the death of George Floyd, I don't want to talk to. So obviously, as you guys saw, this is a legit. It's coming from Cardi B's mouth that she got offered $250,000 from Candace Owen. But again, she enters the political arena and she thinks she's going to be exempt from criticism in politics. Of course not. You're not exempt from criticism in the debauchery you do and the destruction of 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 uh, women and the portrayal of women that you do in your videos you get criticized for that you think you're not gonna get criticized when you enter an arena that you have no clue of and again like candace owens herself said it this is it's demoralizing and it should be and, and, and black people should be um should be to be honest disgusted at joe biden for choosing cardi b to interview him he got offered by Chris Wallace. He denied. You know why? Because he's going to get challenged on his position. And he doesn't want that. He want little lob ups that he could hit out the park with little stupid question. But look, look at, look at Cardi B saying at, at an interview, like, how is this something that is, why would you choose this person to make you look like a fool? Literally. I mean, this is just insane. Look at this. I didn't even notice. This is the interview that Cardi B did a while back. But look at her saying her little catch thing bird sounding i mean this is just this is not this doesn't seem right in in in, in, in to, to be honest look at this you know what if i kill somebody i gotta go to jail you gotta go to jail too <laughs> <laughs> cardi b C cardi b is is a a direct result of the public school system in the United States, in particular, New York. This is what comes out of the New York um, public system, school system. And to be honest, I went through the New York city public school system and I didn't come out like that. So it also has to do with the parents that she has at home and the people that she's surrounding herself with. But this is a lot of the Ill illiteracy she's saying politics instead of politics and all this stuff is it's just insane what is coming out this woman's mouth and forget about the filth that is coming zero morals and she's talking about that as she wants thing better things for the world and better justice and all that what what are you talking about one thing you're saying on one thing and and another side you're saying another thing but the funniest part to me the funniest part to me is actually this one is actually Candace Owens um, 
mocking Cardi. Well, not, I, I'm not, I'm again, I'm not for the mocking. I'm just, I'm all for the just how funny it sounds and how she's trying to impersonate Cardi B. And I actually, I think she does a good job. L listen to this. People don't understand. I've been doing these politics for a long time, and Candace Owens want to step to me and say that I have been doing this. You don't even notice it. I got all. The, I got the number one song. <laughs> I got the number one song in the UK, in Australia, and New Zealand. That's why Joe Biden want to sit with me. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Candace Owens is a Candace Owens is a fool, man. Oh my God. Yo, to be honest, man, and, and yo, Candace Owen kind of took it to Cardi B, to be honest, man. Cardi B claims she's all gangster and all bloods and all this and all that. She's not looking real gangster where she's getting challenged, to be honest, man. Candace Owen showed the little gangster in, inside of her. Do you guys agree? Let me know in the comments down below, guys. Remember, we have a live call-in show every Friday, 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern, where I take your live in calls. When you... um subscribe to the channel first of all thank you very much but make sure to turn on the notification bell because if not you will not get notified when i upload a video share the content with people that you think are gonna appreciate it and remember that we're trying to get to 1000 subscribers guys yes we're trying to do that and we're gonna make it happen pretty soon so take care out there god bless godspeed me valentine i am out